What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We're out here. We're got Tilly in the woods, uh, kind of rebounding off of the comp hunt uh, the 19th. Um, if y'all have been watching along, kind of know I've been trying to gear up and get Tilly ran enough to get put in that comp hunt. Um, I kind of made my mind up that I was going to put her in it anyways. Um, even if I didn't hit my goal, which that's what I did. Um, Tilly, she did good for her first time. Um, she didn't tree anything. Uh, she actually, right off the gate, she busted a deer. <laughs> so that was like, oh my goodness. So this is, this is the time that you decide to do this. So now I got to add that to the list. Um, she hasn't done that before. Uh, but the guy that I hunted with, Ryan Foster, you know, big huge shout out to you, man, and his little dog, Shaka, um, did great. Last time that I was out in the woods with that little dog, um, his dog did about the same thing Tilly did um, in the cast that I had her in a couple days ago. Uh, she, she looked great. She looked really great out there. Ryan was really a good guy out there in the woods, and I appreciate that. Uh, it was just a good time, and Tilly did great. Um, we caught him, and I thought, I was like, oh, it's game on, because she ghosted. Like, she disappeared. She went deep, and she was moving, buddy. But, so, at the end of the day, Tilly gassed out. She was stayed hunting too close to me. So now I got a little checklist of things that I got to go out and remedy and try to get through. Uh, the patch of woods that we hunted was awesome. The squirrel weren't moving at all, but it was a pretty awesome patch of woods. So we're going to be working on exactly what I wanted to be worked on before. We're just going to continue on the same stuff. But we're out here. I kind of got to walk hunter through this state land that I'm at here because it's just a lot of paths and there's just a lot of fields of tall grass and stuff like that. So not too much patches of woods down in here. So we're getting... He's getting pushed. Uh, yeah, the final score on the cast that me and Tilly were in was uh, zero to zero. Um, he won because he had points on the board and and they got minus off, so it was kind of like a tiebreaker deal with circle points and uh, or minus whatever you want to call it. And all in all, great experience. You know, I like that little club out there. Big huge shout out to Ed Rogers if you watch this and uh, Alex Hugh. You, you know. You guys are doing what you can, and you're doing pretty good at it, you know. Alex, man, he's got some great little dogs, and I was just hoping. I was like, I don't want to hunt against him on the first cast because he's got some really well-established dogs, and they do great. But uh, let's go ahead and push around these woods and see if we can't get something treed this morning. So there's the old Tilly dog. We'll get out here and walk her. Now see these paths right here is exactly a huge downfall. Um, having to walk these paths in between little patches of woods and the things, um, getting her out in a chunk of woods that don't have that, it's kind of, you know, kind of put a damper on things for her. Um, she's severely, severely used to being walk hunted. Uh, so I got here to keep me a good pace and. She kind of just does her thing like up there and she'll peel off every once in a while. But I'm just trying to get those processes clicked that when she does peel off, just tree them. I'll get the squirrels down to her. Uh, she's only had that one time um, the way that I would want to see it be done. And that was that short that I posted the other day. And she hasn't done that since. So a couple more of those and I think we're going to be good to go. But... It walked on to the next little patch. This is where I was in the beginning of the video. She hunted up through there. So Tilly's out there moving around. And uh, I don't know if you guys can even see her out there. That's usually about how it goes. We'd be walking a path and all of a sudden she'll just bust off into the, the woods. So all I do is just sit out here and kind of wait for her to tree up if she's going to tree up. If not, she'll kind of do this thing where she peels back around. If she really liked it out there, she'd go back in there. But, you know, this little dog does cover some good ground, but she's got to have a reason to. Uh, 
Well, I guess there's nothing out there she wanted to tree on, so let's just keep pushing. All that being said, you guys, you know, I still trust this little dog, you know. Um, that deer thing didn't bother me too much. Not too worried about it. It's not like she's going to peel at six miles like a coon dog. Um, here she's pushing something really hard, so maybe we'll catch us a tree right here. Let's go ahead and flip you guys around and see if she'll tree one for us. So she just peeled something off over there. She hasn't made any sounds yet, so just waiting for her to tree up or come back. And this is just consistent. See of how I've been hunting her. And uh, as you guys can see, I can't even tell where she's went off to over there. So she's getting out. She's doing her thing. I think she has a she has a hard time if she sees one or sees something that she likes to stop for a second and put her nose on the ground and figure out exactly whereabouts it's at to get it treed. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wait right here till she comes back and maybe oh there she is. I see her. Here she comes all the way back out. Maybe yep. So, yeah, this is just kind of it, man. And every once in a while, she does that, and she'll have a squirrel in there. But let's keep walking and doing the do. Saying before Tilly so rudely interrupted me is, you know, I do trust this little dog pretty good. I have, I have seen more squirrels with this little dog than I probably ever have ever squirrel hunting. Um, that being said, you know, she's still hit or miss, hot or cold. Uh, but if she thinks there's something around, there's usually something around, you know. And uh, it's just a matter of whether she catches it going up the tree or not. That's one thing that she's been pretty consistent about is if she sees it go up the tree, she'll try to tree it. Um, there has been a time or two where I've spotted her uh, chase someone up a tree and I've seen her put it up. And then she just looks up the tree and runs off like she's not worried about treeing that one. But... It's all part of the puppy stuff, you know. Um, next hunt's in December, so hopefully that's plenty enough time to get some of these things ironed out with her. And I'm out here this morning, just fingers crossed, you know, we'll get one treat and she'll treat it good and I can get knocked down to her. Um, what's been kind of a stalling process with her is the leaves, right? So I've brought her out and she has treed probably, you know, six or eight squirrels, but of those six or eight, that she's treed um i've only been able to really get down one or two of them um a couple of them where she's ran them up a tree and i've had to coax her to get on the tree uh so i think all in all probably about four squirrels have came down to tilly this season so you know i'm trying to work through all the stuff that's fighting and holding us back and at the same time trying to maintain some type of you know some type of reliancy on the dog to get the job done. She's moving around good this morning. Uh, squirrels are moving around good this morning. I about hit about three of them on the way in. So I'm hoping we'll just catch that one scraggler that she'll put up a tree. And the way that she's been is if I get one out to her, she she really wants to turn on. Uh, the last day that I was out there, she uh, that I got that one down to her. Um, I shot one down that she got close on which was probably a no-no but then she went right on and treed that one that i got down to her but i ran out of bullets so i had to peel out and i was thinking oh man this would be a perfect morning to get five or six done um if she's going to be looking this way and acting this way so let's go ahead and get some footage and y'all stay tuned man i don't know if you can see her there but that's the kind of behavior that kind of got her to get out ran in the cast is she likes to do this walk slow put around kind of deal but that cost us that's what cost us is just not covering ground when she should have but yeah let's keep walking got tilly treat over here she's looking good i heard it chattering i'm gonna get on in down to her she'll probably peel off I see the tree she's in okay so this is awesome you guys I'm so happy she actually I don't know how she figured this one out but she got her 
Actually, I hear it timbering. I do hear it timbering. Yep. So she put it up over here, and it's timbered over here. Um, I'm going to try to find this thing. Oh, she's got it on the ground over there. Awesome. It just peeled up the hill. You, might, you guys might have been able to see it. Awesome deal. Hopefully she'll stay on it. So this is pretty slick. I'm really happy about this. Hopefully I can get this thing knocked down. That'd be awesome. So there's a little squirrel dog treeing up, guys. Alright, so I found the squirrel. It's right there, right above my finger. Uh, you can see its tail right over the tree. I'll put an arrow in the video. So go ahead and plus her on up, guys. I'm going to get around the other side, see if I can get this knocked down to her. This should be an awesome start this morning. This squirrel is definitely playing the game that they play. Um, on the other side, I can see him come to this side. Moves. So now I'm just stuck in this perpetual walking around, not being able to see through all the thickets and stuff. I'm going to show you guys up what I'm looking through, trying to get, get a, a squirrel scene. So there's the tree. Um, and this is what I'm looking through. And it's all the way around. So you guys, wish me luck, man. All right, guys, there's no dice yet. I've been looking for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go on the other side again. If I can't get eyes on it that time, we're just going to pass and hopefully do it again. That was a really awesome tree out of Tilly. I'm really bummed that we can't get this thing down to her. But let's keep pushing. I found it, you guys. Made one last ditch effort and I found that sucker. Uh, Tilly's got him right now. It dropped right down perfect to her. I've got her leashed here. Oh man, this is fantastic, man. Just fantastic. Good job, Tilly. Good girl. Good girl. All right, guys, let's go try to get another one. My goodness, you guys. I literally searched that tree for pushing 20 minutes and I finally just barely threw all the leaves and the brush seen just the little two pricks of his ears sticking up and black against the tree look up there with my scope I'm like that's probably just a shadow look up there on my scope and sure enough I could see his head and that's all I got and uh, I tried getting it on camera but he was so well hidden I couldn't even get him on a camera but cracked him out one shot down until he now see the only problem that I have with this right here is how long it took me to find that squirrel but Tilly did great she treed hard she followed it as it was timbering came back down on the ground chased it across the ground slammed it back up a tree i wish i could have just been a lot quicker getting it down to her because she deserved it man but that's a big old black squirrel you guys seen and it couldn't have fell perfect more perfect out of the tree y'all stay tuned maybe we'll get another one so tilly's got us another one but she ain't barked on it yet seen it go up hopefully she'll tree it right now there it is so that's number two for her Look at Tilly on fire this morning. Man, I was starting to kind of worry about her. <laughs> that compound got in my head. But she's treed up. I'm going to get in here, get her leashed, and get the squirrel down if I can. There's another big old tree, just like the same one. Be all day and tomorrow. But look at that little dog go. Tilly is two for two. Got him right here, boys. You can see him right in the Y of that tree right there. Right there. See his head? Let's get him knocked down. Number two, boys. Number two. Wrap it up at two for two. So she made two trees with two squirrels. Um, she did run one, but didn't find what street went up, and she didn't tree. So I don't know if you want to call that. You know three for or two for three or whatever but the trees that she treated i got squirrels out of just walk hunting her I, it's kind of a pitfall in the comp hunting idea but we're gonna wrap the video up there guys head back to the truck get this little dog walk on it up on out of here if we happen to get any more action before i get all the way back out of here 
I'll get you guys in there and let you guys see. But for now, y'all, y'all keep them treated. I really greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys always tuning in, always checking out the videos, going on this journey with me and this little dog, Tilly. Um, if she was looking like this yes, uh, at the comp hut, maybe I could have got some points up. But as always, man, y'all keep them treated.